Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey guys, Jerry Handy Sr. here uh, from jerryhandy.com. And we want to spend just a couple of seconds. I'm going to dig into some things. It's just going to be me and you learning something I believe is going to be very, very critical to your success online. I know that if you're anything like me, you're definitely looking for ways to make extra income on online, you know, ways to generate, uh, you know, funds for your, uh, maybe your church, for your charity of any, uh, of any sort. Maybe even for that new home, that new car. I don't know where you are. I don't know what it is that you want to do. But I know that you have a desire to do something more than what you're doing. And that is cool, cool, cool with me. So I want to share an idea with you here today. I believe, again, will be very impactful for you uh, when you begin your journey online. You don't want to start to make money and things of that nature. So uh, let's just dig right in. I don't want to take too much of your time. First and foremost, let me, let me say this here real quick. The, the, the number one thing I believe that you have to have when it comes to m online marketing is, drum roll, a product, and excuse my, my writing here. I mean, it's just like, again, it's just me and you doing this thing. So uh, you have to have a product, you know, or even a service or some would even call it an opportunity. I don't know if you can read that. Opportunity, product, service, or an opportunity. One of the three. And one of these three is gonna make you some kind of money online. So what's the trick to really making this happen? I mean, let me dig into something here real quick because I believe it's important for you to understand. A lot of people, when it comes to online marketing, they mess up when they, when they look to get a product, service, or an opportunity. Let me explain what I mean. Because you need something very, very, uh, you know, uh, you need something very, very important that I believe that every person should have if you're going to have long-term success. Now, if you come online and make a couple of dollars here and there or whatever, yeah, fine, cool. You're not really serious about it. But if you're really serious about changing your your life, your family's life, your future, your destiny, you know, changing occupations, careers, whatever, then you're going to really pay attention to what I'm trying to share with you today because this is what a lot of people really, really miss. Now, let me start your little journey right here. This is the online market. This is where we start. Let's just say this is uh, uh, 2014. This is where we start our journey. And our, our endeavor is to go off into the not so distant future or go off into the future. Let's just say uh, infinity, because we want to do this for a long time, as long as we have the breath in our bodies, right? So we want to go into infinity with our business, because this is ours. This is what we want to uh, do to support our families and things of that nature. So you start out here, right? Now, as you begin to go down this journey, this path that you take, you're going to encounter a lot of different obstacles. You know, you encounter obstacles in life, right? Sometimes it's health, sometimes it's children, sometimes it's jobs, sometimes it's, you know, uh, you know bills, you know what I'm saying? So you have all these different things that you're going to encounter in everyday life. Now, the, the same is going to apply to your business. And you're going to follow me just a second here. The same is going to apply in your business. And this is where so many people get it wrong. You know, there's a stat online that, that I've heard for a number of, uh, of years, and it's simply this, 97% of the people online don't make it. In other words, they fail. They don't make any money. In other words, they're always going into the negative. I want to color that red so you really understand, see how that stands out. 97% don't make money, so that means that there's about 3% of the people, 3% that actually make money. So you got to ask yourself a question. What is it that the 3% are doing that you're not doing? That you're a part of this 97%, right? Not the 3%, but a part of the 97%. Let me share something with you. Now, you start your journey online, 2014, and you have this journey that you're going uh, you know, into, into infinity. Starting to work, you're starting to put some effort, you're starting to put some time, you're starting to learn some things about online marketing. Really cool. Now, what happens is that when you have a product that you're trying to market, you're taking our, mark, our product to, to the market, right, or to the, the individuals that we want to sell it to, what happens? We run across somebody that possibly don't really like what we're trying to sell because we just basically chose a product. 
it happens all the time. Affiliate marketing, uh, ClickBank products, uh, all types of products out there. We just grab a product because we're trying to make the quick dollar. That's where a lot of people are. They're trying to make a quick buck. They don't understand the correlation between making money long term and picking the right product. Stay with me. So we start our journey. We take our product to the market. Right? And sometimes the market says yes, sometimes the market say no. Most of the time, remember the 97%? Most of the time the market says no. So what happens? Here's our journey. We start. We start out going in this direction. In other words, we're not making any money. Now all of a sudden we run across somebody who could, could be, who is potentially doing the same thing we're doing. They give us a little trick, they give us a little tip, they kind of show us uh, try this man, maybe this would work for you. So we tried and guess what? We get a sale and boom, our emotions have just shot way high. Why? Because we've made money. Now we do that, you know, a time or two and all of a sudden we run across those individuals that we try to share our product with again and they say no to us. What happens to your emotions? They go down here, right? So what does that tell me? That tells me that we're emotionally connected to when we make a sale. So in other words, we're connected to money. If we're not making money, then we have these, what, we, what I would call, let me erase this here real quick. If we're not making money, what happens? Our emotions go down here and we, we're basically on this emotional roller coaster, right? We got valley here, valley here, we got a peak here, we got a peak here. But the objective is to stay even keel, somewhere in here. Let me distinguish that by making that red. The objective is to stay even keel, somewhere along in here, to where whether we're up or whether we're down, down, we're still going to stay the same. Well, what makes you stay the same when you're not making money? This is the number one reason why you have a lot of people that jump from opportunity to opportunity, because they chase the, shin the shiny objects. They can't stay stable because they're chasing money. And I had a mentor of mine tell me a, a year or so ago, maybe a year and a half ago, they told me, don't ever chase money. Let money chase you. Well, how does money chase you? I'm glad you asked. Because the number one idea is, is that you have to have a product that brings value to the marketplace. When you bring value to the marketplace, the market don't mind rewarding you with the value that you brought to them. Because what we're doing, we are actually problem solvers. We are coming to the market to solve a problem for our potential customer, client, lead, whatever the case is, we're solving a problem for them. And when we solve the problem for them, they're not, with, they're not uh, against paying us for solving that problem. Think about it. You wear eyeglasses for what? To correct your eyesight. It solves a problem. You wear clothes for what? To correct the problem. You don't want to walk around naked, right? You wear shoes, why? Because you want to have shoes to walk on or walk in when you're going from place to place. That solves the problem. It put feet on the shoes on your feet. Not feet on your shoes, but shoes on your feet. You get my drift? So we're problem solvers. So people who design clothes, people who make eyeglasses, people who make ear, uh, hearing aids, whatever the case is, they're solving problems. So when you solve a problem, people are not uh, hesitant to pay you for solving their problem. So that should be your objective. When you take a product to the marketplace, you're taking value to the marketplace. And when you take value to the marketplace, they're going to pay you for that value that you brought. But what happens to us? We take a product to the market that we don't really care about because all we're interested in is in money. Well, what is the difference? When you have a product that you have a, get this, a passion for, right? If you're into golfing, if you're into dog training, if you're into gaming, if you're into uh, crocheting, if you're into uh, video marketing, video, you know, making videos, whatever, training videos, tutorials, if you're into those types of things that you have a passion that you want to, think about all the guys who make the eyeglasses, the guys who make the hearing aids, the guys who make the clothes, the guys who, who, who train the dog. Those are individuals who have a passion for what it is they do. And when they have a passion for it, 
they don't mind going through the downs and the ups because the downs and the ups is not, is, is not contingent upon how they feel about what it is that they do. So number one, this is what you got to get first, and I ain't messing my marker all up. This is what you have to get first, is get the product right first. When you get the product right, then you're going to have the passion to be able to take it to market, and you're going to be in business for the long term. You're not going to be concerned about these highs and lows you know, in your business because your passion is driving you. So what they say no to my, my opportunity or say no to my product or say no to my service. So what? I still have a passion for it. I know deep down inside, I'm bringing something to the marketplace that's going to help them with their problem. And to be honest with you, if you don't have the desire to take this to the marketplace to assist them with their problem, then you're cheating the market. You have a solution for their problem. You're not really going to sell, you're going to provide a solution for their problem. So quickly, that's what we wanted to share with you in, in, in this first video, that number one, get a product that you have a passion for. When you have a passion for this product, then you don't have a problem going through the ups and downs because in the end of the day, at the end of the day, you bring the value, you're gonna make the money, all right? Till next time, Jerry Handy Senior from jerryhandy.com. Guys, take care of yourself. We'll talk soon. Keep your eyes peeled. Got something for you. Take care.